Good evening. I'm Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Jim Teske. Rain pretty much all day long here in the Syracuse area. Nothing particularly heavy, but it did add up. The airport getting close to a third of an inch. You can see a lot of spots close to Syracuse, you know, around a quarter to a third of an inch. More as you go across parts of the uh, southern Finger Lakes. Look at that, six tenths of an inch in Scipio, almost at Walcott, 80.81 uh, inches in uh, Burdett as well. Welcomed rain, by the way, Syracuse is up to about an inch of rain in a couple of different events since Sunday afternoon. And there's still rain showing up here on the radar. And as you zoom in a little bit closer, we're cool enough now in some of the hills south of Syracuse. There may be some snowflakes mixed in there. I doubt it's going to stick or anything, but if you're out uh, near Homer, um, probably places like that, maybe a little bit of snow in the air as well. Uh, this is all wrapping around a storm system that has brought all kinds of weather to the northeast. There was snow, accumulating snow in southwestern New York, but especially western New England. Some of the uh, higher terrain of the Green Mountains picking up more than a foot of snow. This area of low pressure quickly or slowly will be moving out to sea. So here's your time cast overnight. I do expect clouds to linger, but the overall trend will be for the uh, rain to come to an end. There may still be some spots of drizzle after midnight and even heading into around 7 o'clock in the morning. Otherwise, just a lot of clouds, upper 30s to near 40 degrees. The clouds are going to be very stubborn. And from time to time, there might be some drizzle, maybe a brief shower, but the overall trend, again, is going to be for drier weather tomorrow. By afternoon, uh, slowly but surely, some breaks in, sun, in the sun, in the clouds, allowing some sun to, to shine through from the south shore of Lake Ontario into the Syracuse area later in the afternoon and eventually points south as well. There's the low tomorrow evening. Looks like it's headed up toward uh, Halifax. Still a lot of moisture kind of left over, and there may even be a brief shower tomorrow night as well. Notice all the clouds to start on Sunday, but gradually mixing out to a mix of sun and clouds mid to late afternoon again on Sunday. Uh, we're into a pattern here where temperatures are going to average below normal uh, for much of next week. There'll be a couple of days where we're close to normal, but this pattern probably locked in here almost till the end of the month. So just to give you a heads up on that. Tomorrow, clouds giving way to some brightening skies in the afternoon up to get us to 53. On Sunday, again, maybe a struggle with the clouds in the morning before the sun comes out, a little more seasonable at 58. And there you go. We're, we're close to or better than normal for Monday and Tuesday. Then, more active on Wednesday. Cold front's approaching, so we're dealing with rain at first. Temperatures close to 50. Then we turn colder. Could go over to a brief, brief period of snow. A whole separate system here on Thursday with some rain or snow showers again. Then sun and clouds Friday as we're in the mid-50s.